So my name is Huk Jung Hong, and I am a 2014 Create Change commissioned artist. The Create Change project is called Beauty in Her Own Words and it's uh, both a series of free art workshops and writing workshops that are also going to culminate in a beauty magazine, like a faux beauty magazine that gets placed in salons around Queens. And the focus is really uh, on the often invisible immigrant women workers that power the beauty industry of Queens and, um, and about telling their stories. It's also really about the fact that Queens is changing, it's gentrifying, especially Woodside, Jackson Heights. So it's also hearing from salon owners and workers about how they feel like their own work is changing because of that. So Beauty in Her Own Words is taking place mostly in Woodside. Um, I did uh, three weekends of art workshops around a salon on 53rd Street, and now I'm doing a series of writing workshops here in the Woodside Library, um, and then the last one's October 10th. And um, I guess for me, I see that it's activating a lot of people and artists that I know and, and artists in Queens who do want to write about and explore that dynamic and relationship with beauty salons and hair salons and especially the people that they've known for years. But what I learned when I did the art workshops, uh, I saw that a lot of people were really interested in um, kind of getting a portrait of themselves done, i.e. seeing how they looked in others' eyes. And I think that with the writing workshops, I'm noticing there are so many people who have been kind of bursting to tell the story of the people that they've known, their hair salon workers, their own mothers, their own sisters. And um, I think what I've learned a lot is that there's a particular character to being a hair salon worker or nail salon worker in Queens. And it's seen as closer to the community, but maybe a little less prestigious. So there's a lot of um, dialogue around that. I would like to see it keep going because I feel like there are a lot of people who want to participate who maybe couldn't this time around. And I think the goal is to um, also make sure that it links up to community organizations that are working with nail salon workers. I mean, the fact is like everybody I talk to that have passed by my art workshops and so on in Queens, they don't really have a lot of art, you know, activity and exposure um, unless they're a very young child, you know. And so I feel like it's really excellent that art can be accessible and be part of kind of everyday life. I mean for me and I think a lot of artists they try to make it part of their everyday practice and when it's just in an institution like a school or a you know, museum it feels very far away and inaccessible.